may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. I apologize this morning, but we had no power all night and all day and all at work. Uh, there was a lot of flooding here. We've had storm after storm. Finally today, the sunshine came out. So I apologize not getting on this morning, but there's just no way. It's just a, a long, horrible night last night. Now there's a lot of news coming out, and I've noticed that... Uh, Thank God Lisa was there to cover all the news. We're going to cover a lot of stuff that she covered. There's so much news out right now, it would uh, it's ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it, so we're definitely close to something. Now, it does say we're going to go into more detail of these stories, so buckle up. There's a lot to, we need to discuss. It says, uh, Qatar and Kuwait forbid U.S. from using their bases on attack on Iran. Says uh, so. It's showing here the more uh, seriously reduced U.S. capabilities in the region. So they're really thinking America is going to try to jump into this. I don't think they will, but these other countries are making sure that they don't. Says also indicates the U.S. asked to permission to do exactly hit Iran. That the U.S. asked seems to indicate that either the U.S. and Israel fully know that Iran is going to hit Israel and thus will hit back, or the U.S. and the intel intends to hit Iran no matter what to take out Iran's nuclear program. Either case, it looks like a big fight is about to happen. It looks like this could be going on in the next couple of hours, brothers and sisters. Now, it says France <clears throat> evacuates families of diplomats from Israel, U.K. tell citizens to leave Israel now quickly. France has warned its citizens to uh, refrain from travel in the coming days to Iran, Lebanon, Israel, West Bank, the foreign ministry uh, entourage announced on Friday. It says France is also moving family members of diplomats from these countries in expectation of this outbreak of hostilities between Israel and Iran. Now, France uh, joins Russia, India, and other countries. They've told their citizens not to travel there. And the United Kingdom is another one that has done this also. Let's see. Now, the United States has also sent out a travel warning to Israel. Attack at any moment. It says the United States issued a travel warning for involving Israel become, because Iran is expected to attack any moment and fears of the Gaza war could spread. Now, Israel is bracing for the worst case scenario that U.S. officials believe could materialize within just a few hours. Now, I've had a lot of rocket attacks today. They've come across, so there's rockets already being fired. Says Iran has vowed to take revenge over Israel's killings. The few U.S. officials told CBS that the major Iran attack against Israel is expected as soon as Friday, as today, possibly to include more than 100 drones and dozens of missiles aimed at military targets inside the country. So we're definitely getting close to this face off. Jerusalem Post warning Israelis of Iran nuclear strike. Now, this came out today. Now, we discussed that a little bit last night. The Jerusalem Post newspaper today is a warning Israelis that about the effect of nuclear radiation should Iran attack Israel. So they're thinking maybe a nuke might be fired across the bow, which would definitely catch the world on fire, that's for sure. The story entitled Health Effects of Iran Nuclear Strike on Israel, some key insights, goes on to explain it takes place a human body and exposed to radiation from a nuclear attack. It also makes clear that to expect Iran to attack Israel within the next 48 hours. See, now this is another story that came out last night on top of all this other stuff. Now, 
this story, I've looked into it and looked into it, and I'm really still not sure what I'm looking at. Some of you by now already know this story. But somehow, some right after the solar eclipse, something touched down in our, uh, Antarctica. Something hit the ocean. Now, we don't know what this is. We don't know if it was a meteor or not. A lot of people suspect it was a meteor. But there was an 80-foot wave that was coming off Antarctica. And it was supposed to hit Africa. Now, I have not had any reports of this hitting any continent. And if it did, they are sure keeping it quiet. Like nothing I've ever seen. But the data that we had is gone. It disappeared. They took it away. So if you live in Florida up the East Coast, don't be worried, I don't think, if there's anything. It did show there might be a 20 to 30 foot wave there. I don't know if that's normal for those places, like in a hurricane or something. But like I said, there's just no, it's, the evidence is all gone, so we're not sure. Just keep your eyes on it. That's what I would suggest if you live near the beaches or anything. Just kind of keep an eye on if anything strange happening. Let us know in the comments if anything like that would happen. Uh, if you get any kind of warnings from your local government about, you know, some high waves or something, let us know in the comments, please. Since here, Iran reportedly days away from nuclear capability as it plans to reprise on Israel. It says, an Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah mulls plans for a retaliated strike against Israel. A report from the Washington Post drawing as an international atomic energy agency has a uh, the ones that do the inspections in Iraq and all these different places, even in uh, <coughs> Ukraine. Specifically, the inspectors witness a frenzy of new and renewed activity of Iran's main nuclear development site. Now, this is what they're probably talking about, about Israel going in and striking these targets. The most concerning discovery made by the inspectors is that Iran had increased its production of highly enriched uranium although the uranium is not yet weaponized grade quality. It's significantly purer than the levels needed for civilian energy uses. The high and rich uranium could be refined to weapon grade material within the next few days. Now, don't think the Mossad hasn't told the Israel government this, and this is probably why all this is getting ready to go down. The Iran regime has been steadily increasing its refinement. The United States pulled out of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action which was uh, initiated under uh, Barack Obama during the European Union. It was widely criticized for not being strict enough for limiting Iran's nuclear ambitions. However, since Trump pulled at the U.S. out of the deal the start of Joe Biden's presidency, Iran has steadily improved its nuclear capabilities. Now remember, they're in bed with China and Russia and also North Korea. North Korea did not create the hypersonic missiles they have. It was given to them. Anybody that believes otherwise, well, I don't know what to tell you. These people can barely afford rice, so it was given to them. So don't thank the same courtesy. Iran didn't give Russia a ton of drones for friendship. They wanted something in return. Iran appears to have been emboldened by its increasing alliance with Russia, like I just talked about before I even read that line, especially after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In a recent dis uh, discussion between Washington Post reporter Jody Warwick, uh, the two estimated that Iran's enough fissile material to produce at least three nuclear weapons. Doing so requires an additional purification step and construction of these detonation devices. However, these steps are not considered to be a significant challenge for Iran, which has already demonstrated its ability to evade work around the U.S. and Western sanctions. With Iran's leaders deliberating over the appropriate response to Israel's alleged airstrike in Syria, resulting the assassination of these commanders, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has reportedly pledged not to allow Iran to successfully develop these nuclear weapons. A Wall Street uh, Journal reported that Iran's response could come within the next 24 to 48 hours. They're saying now it's pretty much imminent. On Thursday, the U.S. Embassy in Israel was uh, issued a travel restriction for American government officials warning them not to travel outside of central Israel until further notice. Israel's officials have also announced preparations for an immediate attack by Iran, like we just discussed with different things, talking about what if a nuclear weapon was detonated over top of Israel. Now it says here, a matter of a few hours, Iran's attack on Israel, uh, with a finger to the trigger, the IDF is ready for this sudden attack. 
It says Iran is expected to attack Israel in the next 24 to 48 hours with the exclusive Wall Street Journal saying the Jewish state is preparing for the immediate attack. Now, the Iran's regime leadership said no final decision has been made, but plans for the attack have been discussed. The attack is a response to the thing that happened there at the, uh, the consulate there of Iran's there in Syria. Now, Tehran, which is uh, most official lips, those the supreme li religious leader of Atola threatened to respond to the attack. Iran's threat to retaliate against Israel for the attack on the consulate. Iran is threatening to launch a major attack against Israel, U.S. President Joe Biden said earlier this week, reframing, reaffirming that U.S. support for its close all despite tensions between the two governments. American General Michael Kula, the head of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff responsible for the Middle East region, is in Israel to discuss the leadership of the armed forces of the country, the IDF, and current security threats. The German airline Luf, uh, Lufthansa, or I think it's the Lufthansa, uh, is a, not, uh, also announced that, like I said yesterday, they will be no more flights in and out of there. It says, if Iran launches an attack on uh, from its soil, it will retaliate against the attack of Iran. And pretty much goes into what we was talking about yesterday with everybody uh, Israel will attack their nuclear, uh, all their nuclear plans that they're working on. I guess that would be uh, places where they make the switches and everything. That's what they would attack. <clears throat> Anything also to do with nuclear power plants, stuff like that, that's probably be targets of Israel. It says right now, get out of Iran and Israel. France, India, and Norway asked, locked a large Iranian attack with hundreds of drones and missiles. Maybe tonight, says the U.S. Middle Eastern countries are on red alert as a U.S. official told CBS News that a major Iran attack on Israel is expected as early as Friday. The Americans are describing an Iran attack, which it appears will open the door for a madhouse into the Middle East, which we've talked about, could set the world on fire. According to the Americans, the attack may include hundreds of drones, hundreds of missiles, and so many things else. Soon after, Israel media leaked that Israel were preparing for the worst-case scenario that U.S. officials believe could materialize within the next couple of hours. The possibility of an immediate attack on Israel soil by Iran. They also noted that the IDF and Mossad approved plans to attack Israel, or attack Iran, I'm sorry, if Tehran attacked Israel on its soil. It says, France's foreign minister recommends the French to completely avoid travel in the, to, uh, in the coming days to Iran, Lebanon, Israel, and occupied Palestinian territories. French foreign minister says relatives of diplomats based in Iran will return to France, and the French uh, civil servants are now barred from carrying out missions in Iran. Meanwhile, India has issued a security alert urging Indians nationals not to travel to Israel also. Norway has issued travel warnings also. U.S. Uh, finally, the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem today issued a security alert as well as updated travel alert for Israel. It says the next few hours are critical. Iran starts with a missile attack. Israel is now in the final preparations for the worst case scenario, which U.S. intelligence officials believe could begin in the next few hours, which include launches of hundreds of long range missiles, ballistic missiles, and kamikaze drones, according to U.S. government sources. The threat of an Iran attack on Israel is real, alive, and immediate, the U.S. emphasized. The U.S. is preparing its defense that they may uh, have moved additional troops into the area. Biden administration's officials are increasingly concerned that Iran has made the final decision to launch a larger-than-usual airstrike. See, the U.S. diplomatic marathon, according to CBS, Qatar, and Kuwait have uh, informed the U.S. that they will not allow Iran to use their national airspace to attack the state of Israel. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has asked the foreign ministers of China, Qatar, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia and other counterparts to use their influence to prevent Iran from striking Israel. Nobody has interest in an ex escalation in the region. All countries should call out Israel not to es or Iran not to escalate. U.S. officials, including Jake Sullivan and Brent McGurk, are working to send messages to Iran, including through established Swiss channels. So everybody is trying to get on board to make sure this don't happen, but I'm afraid it's already in the process. It says here, developments U.S. sends to U.S. Dwight Eisenhower after Iran threatens to attack Israel. So there's another aircraft carrier 
headed towards the Persian Gulf. U.S. is sending reinforcements to the Middle East region the fears of Iran attack on Israel grow. Israel was blamed by Tehran at the deadly attack on the consulate. U.S. is strengthening its presence. The Pentagon is beefing up its presence in the region, and the Dwight Eisenhower has been sent to the Red Sea in a warning to Tehran uh, and to protect U.S. personnel in case of the violence escalates, which looks like it's going to be any time now. U.S. Affairs, uh, US officials fear hundreds of drones and dozens of missiles could be used in retaliation for the April 1st incident. Prepare for the worst-case scenario. The White House, through spokesperson John Kirby, earlier emphasized that the U.S. in its constant communication with our Israel counterparts about ensuring that they can defend themselves against these types of attacks, and he added that force preserve changes have been made to ensure the U.S. is uh, prepared for an Iran attack, but declined to liberate. So, let's see what else here. Also warned that the Iranian leadership is under considerable pressure to respond strongly. Okay, so they're gearing up for this. And we, like I said, we, we told you pretty much after the eclipse, all this stuff was going to go down. It's only going to get worse from here on out. Just like whatever happened there in the Atlantic Ocean, that we still have no information on. There's a lot of things happening. Like I told you, you're going to see things you never thought. Volcanoes, earthquakes, solar storms, you name it, it's going to get worse. If our timing is correct, and I do believe 100% it is, I could be wrong, like I said. I'm just a guy from up a holler. But from all indications of everything we're seeing that's happening, the 2,000 year prophecy being fulfilled, and so on and so on, these events are only going to get worse. That's why we tell you the rapture of the church is coming. This right here, what's happening in Israel today, is a number one indicator that we're right and we're at the end. Everybody's moving against Israel. Now, America might defend them today, but I do believe if Israel does make the response that I think they will, that will end that completely and it won't come back. Could Iran launch something horrible at them? Very, very much so. They could. Now, is it going to hurt them? No. God protects Israel, so don't worry about that. They'll be fine. But the thing is, Israel's response could be just as way worse than anything we could ever expect. And we think it will be, because we know the rapture of the church is coming. World War III is on its way, and the Psalms 83 war is on its way. These all are manifesting at the same time. We didn't think that would happen, but they're going to be very close. We're definitely in the season of the rapture. Pretty much everybody has seen it. It's all this time of year. It's not exactly there. There's more leaves on the trees, and it's more of a warmer climate than it is now. So we're almost there, but not there yet. So we got to just keep our eyes open and get as many people on the ark as possible. Listen, right now, Satan is going to and fro trying to destroy us all. That's what he's going to do. He don't want any of us getting people on that ark. We don't want to see anybody left behind. Nobody. And that's our brothers and sisters. So if we're going to do anything. Like I've always told you, let's go out with a bang. Satan's made all of our lives miserable. Let's make his life miserable going out too. So we got to stick together until we're out of here. It's very important that we stick together because we there ain't too many of us left. There ain't too many of us on this ship as it is. And we got to have each other. We're all one big family here. These are not easy times. I won't sit here and lie to you and say they are. But God knew that each one of us could handle it. And that's why he put us here in these last days. So you pray for me and I pray for you. But understand the rapture of the church is any moment. It's here. With what's happening in Israel, it could be any moment. So we've just got to keep our eyes open and our ears open for that so far. Because it's going to happen. Very soon, Jesus will come in the clouds and we will be gone. Thank God for that. That's all I can say. The faster we're out of here, the better and get off this corrupted earth. I know you guys feel the same way I do. And thank God for you, because I don't know what I'd do with all, without all of you guys. I just don't know what I would do. I don't even want to think about it. 
but thank you for supporting the channel, those who bought me coffees, those who bought the super stickers here today. God bless you. Uh, we should be back to regular schedule tomorrow with the morning program and everything. I'll try to get out as many programs today as possible. Like I said, we just had so much storm, so much rain. It's just definitely we took a beating yesterday, and but we're still here. Everything's fine. So God bless each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.